Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. I'm Joe and this is my little channel, Random Computes. So recently I've been installing Windows 11 on different hardware to see if I'm ready to give up a Windows 10 yet. And while I was packing my stuff to take with me this week to work, I seen this little PC. It was supposed to be a Raspberry Pi, but it ended up being an Intel Atom based industrial PC that originally cost well over a grand. It's been on the shelf for well over a year. It was the fourth video on this channel and it's not very good, but I'll throw a card out in case anybody wants to see the gaming performance. So I got the bright idea to see if this can run the newest version of Windows. And naturally there was a few obstacles to overcome, so I decided to make a video on how to install Windows 11 on a computer that has no business running it. Let's do it. Alright, so what you're going to need to do is find the Windows 11 Media Creation Tool. You can Google it, or I'll have a link in the description for it. Just download that. In this way you're doing this, uh, this is to upgrade to Windows 11. This doesn't work if you want to install Windows 11 you know, from scratch. So select the flash drive, and you're going to lose everything on this flash drive, so just be aware of that. And depending on how fast your internet is, it should be done here pretty quickly. Mine was not, mine took forever. The internet's super slow here. Alright, so go to your drive, find sources, and you're going to look through this list for appraisers. Open that up. It's going to look a little funky at first. Don't worry about it, just scroll down a little bit. Now you're going to look for anything with TPM in it. If it's in a group like this first one right there, delete the entire group and just hit the down arrow until there's nothing left. And once you're done hitting the down arrow, hit the up arrow because there might be something you missed like I did. And just delete everything you see with TPM in it. There's quite a few things, so just be ready for that. So here I'm just showing you that this computer does not meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11. Alright, so you open up the folder, hit setup, and it's pretty much just your basic Windows, Windows install. Except for the fact that this one took damn near 4 hours to do. And that's it, really. I mean, it just took a long time. Didn't think you guys wanted to see all that, so I kind of edited it out. It'd be a super long video if I didn't. Alright, so there. Here we have it. I'm going back, showing you it's still the same damn computer. That poor Intel Atom. And, uh. It's not running it all that well, but damn it, if we want to run Windows 11 on some crap hardware, we can. We don't need Windows to tell us that we can't. We don't need Microsoft to tell us we can't. There you go. About 35-40% usage just sitting there in the desktop. I think I'm going to try to install Bodicero on this and make it a, like a mobile emulation PC for maybe my truck or maybe work truck or something. I don't know. This may be the last video for this one or maybe I'll make a video on that one. I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But hey, if you like this kind of stuff, hit that like. If you hated it, that's cool. You know what button to hit. If you like this kind of stuff and want to see more, consider subscribing. There will be there will be a video to the left and to the right. Check that out if you're interested in those. And uh, maybe I'll see you guys in the next one. Have fun, guys.